Welcome everybody to Extreme Off-Road Silly Bills and today we're dealing with the 2022 Cupra Tavascan concept car. Now this has 1,147 horsepower, 1,266 pounds-feet of torque from its now two synchronous electric motors plus 82 kilowatt hour of batteries that they are powered by. Both of those are nicked from the Porsche Mission R. And uh, yeah, this now weighs 3,801 pounds, has off-road tyres and off-road suspension to go with its standard all-wheel drive system. And it can now do 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds, 0 to 104.967 seconds, and going to a top speed of 171 miles an hour. So I know the top speed stat looks a little on the low side, but that's just purely because you have to uh, change the uh, gearing in the tuning option. Um, to get it up to a higher rate of speed, otherwise it would only do about 98 mile an hour, something like that. So, yeah, but the bigger concern is the handling, which as you can see isn't particularly great. And even though it's a lot less in terms of weight, of weight than it was originally, you know, it's 1,199 pounds less, it's still quite a heavy beast. But acceleration, launch and braking are all good, and the off-road capability is pretty decent. So, um, yeah, this could go either way. Um, Obviously the comparison is going to be against the Curb Cooper Urban Rebel Concept and the Cooper Fermenter. So, um, yeah, obviously the Fermenter was slightly slower than the um, Urban Rebel. And the Urban Rebel is the only other EV from the Cooper that we have on this, on this uh, game. So, um, that is obviously the one we're going to be comparing against most. But I'd like to beat both, to be honest. So, um, yeah, let's see what we can do. And uh, yeah, the uh, acceleration on this is ballistic. The raw numbers don't even do it any justice whatsoever. Especially once you get past 100 mile an hour, it's just relentless. And it's obviously a lot louder, because it's using the Porsche Mission R in uh, and motors, which are hilariously loud for an electric car. Handling wise, it's okay for now. We've not really challenged it so far, so. I don't really know how it's going to handle the rest of this, but on online races, obviously they are more tarmac based, but still, even though the handling wasn't particularly great on the on road version of this that I've used, it was only 5.1 handling, it definitely handled a lot better than uh, the stat would have you believed and uh, yeah for now that is living up to the same thing with this 4.0 handling on this series is not particularly great and yet it feels a lot higher than that so far it's getting trucked about a fair bit no doubt because even though it was an all-wheel drive vehicle in its standard form and technically is an SUV, it didn't have the highest of ground clearance and there's still a lot of weight there that is can get thrown around. Definitely a lot less control than the fermenter, but then that also had a lot less weight. And less in the way of power as well. So unfortunately we could only swap one engine into that and that was less powerful than the standard engine fully upgraded, so. Put rate of speed down there, 150. Definitely handles a lot better than its stat would have you believe. No normal car with this level of power and that kind of handling would do as well as this. Those brakes are very helpful. Right, coming up to the last corner. Very good for that corner, and yes, we are quicker than the Urban Rebel. To 
become the fastest Cooper we've had so far at 3 minutes 18.857. So, uh, yeah, that's not only faster than the Cooper, but it's faster than most cars that we've had on this series as it lands itself into number 27th place, beating the Lamborghini Cyan Roadster, the Lincoln Co. Cyan Racing number 3, the Hot Wheels Dior 2, the McLaren 620R, and like I said, the Urban Rebel Concept, and obviously, consequently, the F Fermenta VZ5, and yeah, it's only slightly behind the Porsche 550A Spider and the Audi RS e-tron GT, which is obviously the more comparable car to this. We're only about half a second slower than that um, Audi, which yeah, is even lighter, I think, than this. But even if not, it definitely has better handling and uh, really rather good acceleration, even in that regard. And yeah, we're only just over a second and a bit oh, slower than the Porsche Mission R, which we've nicked the electric motors and batteries from. So yeah, that is mightily impressive from this car, and just goes to show that the handling stat isn't always reliable in terms of what a car can and can't do because yeah this handled really rather nicely yes it was getting trucked about a fair bit with the bumps and the jumps but that was kind of to be expected given it's on much higher suspension than it was originally and it's still obviously dealing with quite a lot of weight but on the whole yeah that was really good nippy handling um, great acceleration good top speeds at times and uh, yeah just generally a really rather fun car to drive and uh, yeah goes to show that EVs are capable in more ways than one. Nonetheless so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.